NASA is officially looking for a new spacecraft for the commercial crew space program. Does that mean Boeing Starliner's out? Let's get right into it. Well, welcome back to the Launchpad. Zach here with another TLP News update. A few days ago, on October 20th, NASA very quietly opened a new contract by issuing an RFI, a request for information for industries that are interested in possibly having the ability to transport astronauts to and from the space station. All interested businesses must respond by November 19th. This is a huge development in the commercial crew program, as in 2014, NASA awarded the two commercial crew transportation capability contracts to SpaceX for Crew Dragon and Boeing for Starliner. Those contracts were to cover the development, in-orbit testing, and six crewed missions. With SpaceX's Crew Dragon success and Crew 5 now in training and on schedule, it's expected that we'll see an extension to the SpaceX contract in the near future. Crew 5 was actually originally meant to be Crew 1 on Starliner, but with the continued delay of Starliners, many of the astronauts wanted to transfer to Crew Dragon, and NASA wants to ensure its capability of maintaining U.S. astronauts on the station so they begin making transfers. With the continued failure of Boeing Starliner and the likelihood that now their first operational mission won't take place until 2023, it appears NASA is looking for a replacement. On October 19th, Steve Stitch, the commercial crew program manager, shared that NASA was considering plans to acquire an additional commercial crew flights as NASA wants to ensure they have crew launch capability through the end of a decade. A day later, this RFI was issued. Boeing has been authorized to prepare for its first three operational crew flights, and it's unlikely that we'll see these be cancelled, but could we see another crew capsule or ship be selected and their contract not extended for Starliner? Looking back to 2010 when NASA first began looking for a commercial crew spacecraft, there were five original companies given funding. Blue Origin, Boeing, Parajon Space Development Corporation, Sierra Nevada, now Sierra Space, and ULA. As the process unfolded, a few other companies submitted proposals, even though they didn't receive funding from NASA to make those proposals. Those included the Orbital Sciences, t space and the United Space Alliance. On August 2, 2012, NASA selected three proposals, awarding Sierra Nevada $212.5 million for Dream Chaser, which would launch on top of an Atlas V. SpaceX received $440 million for Crew Dragon and Falcon 9. And Boeing received $460 million for Starliner, which would also launch on top of an Atlas V. Dream Chaser from then Sierra Nevada, now Sierra Space, ultimately lost the crew contract. They turned to a cargo contract option and lost that also. But in 2016, they applied and were selected and won part of the new CRS-2 contract, the commercial cargo mission. SpaceX won the second portion. Now, SpaceX has already launched a couple missions under the CRS-2 contract, Dream Chaser's demo flight to the ISS was scheduled for 2021, but in November 2020, Sierra Space said they needed a little more time and were pushing it to 2022. Sierra Space already working on a cargo version of their craft, and them now working on their own space station and other missions, it'll be very interesting to see if they submit interest for this new contract for crew. This process can take a lot of time. It's rocket science. It's not expected that the full certification of any new capsule or ship that was selected could be completed until at least 2027, but it will set up NASA for continued crew and possibly cargo missions into the 2030s, so there is a big win there. So there are a lot of questions remaining. What happens to Starliner? Will we now see a crewed stream chaser? Will SpaceX bid and win both parts of the crew contract? Let us know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are. We'll be keeping a close eye on the developments of this new commercial crew program spacecraft contract. Make sure to never miss another TLP news update by engaging that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time right back here on the Launchpad. This is Zach signing off.